Right, well, hello, I'm Dr Nigel Baker, I'm the lead archaeologist on the Shrewsbury Castle 2019 research project. And we're here investigating the area of the castle in a bay where the geophysics that we had done earlier with ground penetrating radar and other interesting gear has showed us that there is something large buried under the grass just in front of us and we're putting a trench across it to find out exactly what it is. So I mean people of Shrewsbury they're used to this as being a lawn yep. but what do we suspect may have been here back in the day? We really don't know. I mean yeah. we know that castles in general had a lot of buildings that have disappeared over the centuries and we think this may be just such an example. We may even have a hall built by Henry II. On the other hand, we could have got a whole load of rubble dumped by Tom Thomas Telford's builders in the 1790s. That's what archaeologists like. Until you eyeball it, you can't really be sure what you're dealing with. So you're here for how long? We're here for two weeks. Two weeks. And um, it's never been dug before, which seems crazy, really. It does, yeah. but it's uh, that shows me for you. You know, it's uh, it's just a little bit unexplored and a little bit undiscovered still to this very day. So we're the first archaeologists ever to get in here. And see what Hello, I'm Ian Pritchard, the castle custodian of Shrewsbury Castle. Some exciting um, stuff going on in the background. Ian, you, you've got someone digging up your lawn. <laughs> How oh, do you feel it, about it? <laughs> it's great. It's brilliant to be able to finally know what archaeology lies underneath the grounds. So you wait with bated breath to yeah, see... Yeah, do. Uh, yes. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens and what they discover. And it's the first time it's been dug, which seems incredible, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, really? 950 years of the castle being here, it's the first time that they've actually done any archaeology like this in the grounds. Have you had over the years, you've been here 15 years yourself, I've been you? here about 15 years. Has there been kind of things that have popped up in the, in that period when the gardeners have been at work, when you've had builders in, that kind of stuff? Uh, and... I'm, I'm sure there has lots of different bits and pieces, um, but nothing spectacular as we're hoping to find. Uh, underneath, maybe we'll find uh, King Edward's uh, Hall underneath the castle grounds. Okay, so just taking the top turf off. This is very, very early days in relation to this dig. First couple of hours, but we're already starting to see bits and pieces come out. What sort of stuff have we got in the trailer? So we've got a little bit of glass, a bottle of glass there. Yeah. Ubiquitous clay pipe, get this everywhere. It's always a bit of a treat, but obviously. As you start to get down the stratigraphy, the different layers and the different ages yeah. tends to appear in the top. But we're actually starting to get this is what we want. We want some pottery. pottery and that gives us our yeah. dating evidence then. So we've got some glaze, post med, and earthenware with a so what sort vitreous of glaze. Are we, are we thinking these bits so far? I think this is probably post 1650. Yeah. So it kind of gives you perhaps Civil War type occupation. So, like um, you say, it's early days, but already you're finding stuff, so I must be already, quite happy so far. Well, already, quite chuffed, really. You know, it's always nice to, to have something in the fine tray early doors rather than uh, rather than empty. Um, but we're certainly making some progress. But I think it'll be quite interesting over the next couple of weeks. Pretty virgin territory, never been dug by archaeologists before. Yeah. So, which is amazing, really, when you think about it, isn't it? It's the first time it's been dug. It's been through so many different phases. So, the last time, 1924, when the corporation actually purchased the castle or had it gifted to them by the Horticultural Society. Yeah. And then in the 20s it was remodelled again. So we yeah. get Thomas Telford does a bit of fettling 1780s for Sir William Pulteney in 1924 and we're in nearly 100 years later. Fantastic.